Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Supergirl, but also talking about the new Superman and Lois show. We're going to be addressing some stuff in this video. I've briefly touched upon this, you know, a couple of times over the past few months, a couple of times, you know, recently, actually, I've been talking about it quite a bit, due to the fact that there have been some rumours going out that this Superman show might go ahead, and now we have official confirmation that they are working on a Superman show, but with Lois Lane. So we're going to talk about that and everything else in this video, going over in depth, talking about the possibilities of what's going to happen in the future. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so, this is a big thing, a big topic that lots of people, you know, came out of yesterday with big questions about and I briefly addressed it in yesterday's Superman video, but I felt like I needed to fully go into depth as to some of the detail from behind the scenes and some stuff that may be happening. Okay, so the big question coming out of yesterday's announcement is, is Supergirl going to get cancelled or is Supergirl going to end? Okay, so let's detail some facts. So I'm not sure about Melissa right now, but I'm pretty sure they are on a contract for seven seasons, that being Stephen and Mel for Arrow, Grant Gustin for The Flash, and Melissa for Supergirl. I think that's the lead role's sort of contract, right? So that's not up for another year, so another few years, so that's no problem. But talking about some of the other cast members, I know that Katie slash, obviously, who she plays, Lena Luthor, she had a three-year contract, and it's going to be up very, very soon because she was a regular in the back half of season two, I do believe. And so she signed it back when she became a regular, and this was something that my friend PJ on Twitter, she has a YouTube channel, go check it out. She pointed out that she is actually, you know, potentially she could leave the show, really, because her contract's going to be up. So... I think this is going to be obviously a big factor because they are losing a lot of people on Supergirl right now. Obviously, James just left, so McCard's not on the show. The only original characters from episode one is obviously Alex, Kara, and Jean right now because, you know, Wynn's left, now James is left, and potentially Lena might leave. You know, Lena was introduced in season two, but she is one of the biggest characters on the show. So there's that potential that you have to keep in mind that a lot of these actors have left. So there might be a need to leave because they've been doing it for, I believe it's like five years actually from a few days ago since the show started. So that's the thing to keep in mind. However, the show will not be cancelled. Basically what a cancellation means on a TV project, you know, on a network, is the network is not happy with it. And that's not going to happen to Supergirl because it actually does really well for the CW. Although sometimes the ratings drop up and down. It's all about the advertisers and the advertisers are still coming on. And I do believe there was a report in the summer that Supergirl had the best amount of advertisers. Or like the most gross from advertisers last year on the CW. Something like that. The Flash earns them more money. But in terms of advertisers last year, I think Supergirl did really well as far as I can recall. So... I don't think cancellation is in sight, there is no real reason for that. I think a cancellation could potentially come for Black Lightning or Legends, more so than any of the other shows because Supergirl and The Flash do really well for them, so I don't think cancellation is a big thing to worry about really. I think the only way it could end is if they felt like it was right to end, and I don't think ending, say, this season or next season would be right, and I don't think they think it would be right, so I'm thinking season 8. Some people are thinking season 7. I think there's a possibility it could be season 7, but I'm personally thinking more season 8. I think The Flash could go on for much longer because it's such a... Obviously, it's a great show, but like, it is the biggest show on the CW. So, if Melissa wants to leave, and if the showrunners are cool with that, I'm not sure if the showrunners are going to stick around until the end, but, you know, whoever's the showrunner at the time, if they're all cool with it, like they were on Arrow, because Arrow wasn't cancelled, Arrow was set to end because they thought it would be the right time to do it now and they felt like they could wrap it up, and I think if Supergirl were to end, it would be on those terms. Same thing with The Flash, I think Legends potentially, I think Black Lightning is more in danger than any of the other ones. So, personally I think Season 8, it may end, 
but on their own basis. And so some are theorising season 6 due to this new Superman and Lois show announcement, but it's different. I take a different stance on that, because when I heard that, it was sort of a relief. Because it's a show about two leads, and having Lois in the title means it's completely different really from the Supergirl show, because Supergirl is the main lead, obviously she has the ensemble around her, but that's the same with Arrow, like Oliver is the lead, that's the same with The Flash, Barry's the lead, but they have people around, that's an ensemble, but we have two leading roles in this show, Superman and Lois, and so it's different from say if they just announced a Superman show, if the title was just Superman or something, because that would worry me a lot more about Supergirl, because I think this sort of two lead approach is very different, and with it being focused on Lois, they can take some other angles that they wouldn't just take if it was, say, just a straight up Superman show, because that would be really similar to Supergirl in a weird way. Obviously, the writers are different. Todd Helbing's a showrunner, the ex showrunner on The Flash. So it's going to be different, obviously, from Supergirl, but people, you know, I think they have the right to be a little bit worried because Superman and Supergirl are quite similar. Although there is so many comic book stories they can go down, it doesn't have to be one or the other. There is not really a reason for that. And the fact that it's a Superman and Lois show, that sort of eases me a bit. Because I think they will be more open to different stories rather than just Superman straight up stories that potentially Supergirl could use. But I, I don't think the problem is stories. I think it's the idea of people are going to get, you know, maybe a little bit confused. Obviously, we're not because we're so attached to Supergirl right now and then we'll start watching Superman. But yeah, so I think it's very interesting. I'm very excited about the Superman and Lois show and I don't think it's going to mean the cancellation or ending of Supergirl. I think Supergirl will only end on its own terms like Arrow due to it doing really well for the CW, like I've said. And so also you have the different angle with them having a child in this, a super child, maybe super boy. There is possibility for lots of different stories in this show. Okay, so that is my sort of talk about that. Hopefully you have taken that all in. I've thought this out and I don't think Supergirl is going to end because of this Superman show. And, you know, I've taken into account all the different possibilities, obviously. And so now let's move on to just a couple of things before we end this video. So this was pointed out on Reddit, and I thought it was really interesting. So, there's this screenshot, it has the subtitles on, and so they talk about the bomb. So it's a hybrid of a Tamaranian and Faroid technology. So, who is a Tamaranian, or however you pronounce it? Starfire. Starfire, could this be the foreshadowing of a future appearance of Starfire from Titans? We know that Titans are going to be potentially in the crossover. But, you know, it could be scrapped because it was just one scene, so we'll have to wait and see until the crossover, but that is her race. That is her alien race. So, I guess it could be a foreshadowing. I think it's more just like an easter egg, and you know how they mentioned Gotham before on Supergirl, and I didn't think, you know, at the time they intended to ever show Gotham, but then when we got Batwoman, we got that. So, I think this is an easter egg. It may come to fruition sometime in the future that we get Starfire on the show, potentially. I think that will be very exciting, but yes. So let's move on to talk about this final thing in this video. So lots of people have been asking me, why isn't Supergirl involved in Crisis and is she going to be heavily involved in the actual Crisis? So she is going to be heavily involved in Crisis when it comes. I'm not too sure why they haven't fully focused on Crisis like Arrow. And obviously the Flash is very heavily crisis heavy right now. And I don't think there is really just like one main reason why they've not done it. I just think maybe the showrunners aren't as interested in crisis as say Eric Wallace, the new showrunner on The Flash, and Beth Schwartz on Arrow. I think that is the main reason. And also, I'm not the biggest fan of the showrunners, you guys know. I don't think that they are the right ones for the show because with them taking over in season 4 and them in season 3. They did a pretty good job in season 3, but that was sort of carrying on the backs of the past show runner. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like they've sort of lost their way, especially with season 4. Like, the Red Daughter stuff and Lex stuff was great, but that was such a small part of the season towards the end that it kind of really didn't make up for it. Although it was sort of like a half-half season for me. I know a lot of you guys loved it, 
but I didn't really like the start, and I thought the stories weren't that interesting until we got to the Red Daughter and Lex stuff, and I think right now they're struggling a bit. Like, I liked episode 1, 2, and 3, but episode 4 yesterday was a bit messy, I don't know, it was a bit like half-half again, and so with them not focusing on Crisis, I think it's the matter of what they want to do personally, I, I know they like to tackle sort of issues in society right now, They're doing technology, last season was politics, I think they sometimes get too involved in that and they forget about some of their storylines and what they actually mean, so I think they maybe are a bit lost right now totally if I'm honest, and I think they're going to involve Crisis really when we get to Crisis, I don't think we're going to get much. Obviously, Jean's brother is to do with the monitor with him returning, but that's about it that we've got this season with Crisis. Sorry for my ranting about the showrunners, you know, I'm not the biggest fans of them, and I know some of you guys aren't, and yeah, so. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, let me know all your theories in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye. I see red.